Mill Creek, Washington at the Snohomish County Sheriff's Office. Looks like they got shoreline police cars out here. <clears throat> shoreline police cars. We are at the Snohomish County Sheriff's Office. Let's see what the guys do. <clears throat> you know there's a crow on the roof. You know that's bad things about to happen dark sinister things are gonna happen there's a crow on the roof it's like uh you know some of those dark movies crows bad things happen Phone's beeping. Doesn't work. Well, he said it was open. <clears throat> Guess we're just going to have to try this side door here. Opposite, we're knocking on the police door. <laughs> I'm here to file a complaint on three officers. Okay, so if you want to do that, uh, you call our non emergency number and ask for this. Uh, speak with the sergeant, I can get you that number. Oh, I, I was speaking to the sergeant Zelia. He specifically told me to come ha down here. He said the he told me the main office is open, but it's not open, obviously. Okay, uh, he might have been referencing our main office in Everett. He right. said, uh, Bill Creek. Bill Creek, okay. Yeah, he told me to come directly here. Zelia, the sergeant, yeah, Zelia. Yeah. Zalea, Zalea. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let, let me go see if I can get sure. contact with Sure. Yep. Well, these guys aren't hanging their American flag high, you can see. They don't care about America. They're hanging it as low as possible. And they got crows on the roof. So, you tell me what kind of police this is. What kind of character they got.
do not enter. Well, I did enter that way, so. Oh, I got a crack window here. All that budget money, and they can't fix the crack in their window. Huh? All that money, they can't repair a crack. Nice truck, pretty nice truck. How long are these guys gonna keep me waiting out here? Make a quick phone call. I guess they really do call it a Sally Port. <laughs> I thought that was a pretend name, Sally Port. <laughs> How you doing? Good, how you still going? How are you? Not too bad, good. pretty good. I'm waiting to file some complaints on some officers. Is, is someone coming out or? I don't know. They said they were coming out, so I mean. Who are you waiting for? You know? uh, they just told me they're going to call Zalia. Zalia? Zalia. I don't know how to say his name. Okay. So, Did you talk to somebody already? I talked to like, I don't know, look like one of your explorers or something. I don't know, a rookie. Okay. Young kid. Okay. So. I'll ask. Sure. Make contact. I think it's Zalea. See if I get his name right this time. Hello again. Hello. If you want to go into the lobby, I'll get you started on the Sure, let's do that. Right. Uh, the lobby is closed. Oh, the lobby closed? Yeah. All right, give me a second to use the bathroom. Sure. And nope. come and get Take you. your time, no problem. Sure. First door on the left there. First on the left, yep. right here. In here? Just take a seat. Yep. Okay, sure. All right. <clears throat> so, off the bat, what I need to know, am I one of those that you plan on complaining about? If so, I can't take your complaint, obviously. Um, so, the only complaint I have about you 
is you're the one that triggered the officer safety thing. Right. Other than that, after that point, I felt like it was pretty cordial. But um, I feel like there was no reason to say that because I was videotaping the altercation between you and the people on the bus. So you kind of triggered his reaction. So when you said, you know, uh, officer for officer safety reasons, I need, if, if you are worried about his safety, you need to, you need to call him by name and say, hey, uh, to your six or to your left, your right or whatever, you know, just keep it. You don't need to, like, make it look like I'm going to do some physical harm to an officer, because obviously, you know, there's not a lot of things like that to happen in Washington state. And I think that for that to be said is kind of irrelevant, you know. Are you recording this? I am. Okay. All right. I, I, I will say I will say this. With the number of law enforcement officers killed nationwide, we had the Bothell officer that was right. recently killed. Right. All right. Uh, to say that it's not going to happen here is very naive. I pray to God that it never happens here. I pray to God it never happens right. to anyone that I work with. Sure. But nationwide, it's happening just about daily. Right, wrong, and different. It's happening daily. And to, to say that we shouldn't be concerned about our safety in Snohomish County is naive. You should be we concerned are. to an extent, okay? I think it was very reasonable to ask you to just step back. My deputy was busy dealing with people at the time. I know you're just filming, but we don't like people at our back. It's just not safe. But that's for him to make a maneuver that's to for turn my his... My job is to ensure the safety of my people. He could have... That's why I simply said, sir, go ahead and keep recording, but step back. And then that triggered you to do what you did. This was all something that we're just trying to get our job done here. That's it. We're trying to do our job. Community Transit has a contract us, lease the transit system. And that's what we were out there doing today. Right, but then it turned into me, I'm trespassing. And then he wanted to trespass me. Technically, honestly, and I know the laws, um, you couldn't remove me from that platform because if it is community transit property, they would have to request that at that time. All right. What you need to do then is look up RCW 991025 and you will see that that's not the case. Okay, I'll look that we up. Are, we are agents of community transit. Sure. Uh, charged with making the system safe. Okay. So what he was referring to at the time is that if you are on community transit property and not using it as designed, then that technically is a violation of that particular RCW. Okay. Uh, and that's what he was letting you know. Do you um, feel that his reaction when you said, um, my hands are greasy, I'm right. leaving fingerprints. Oh, okay. um, so do you feel that his reaction to when you said that um, for officer safety, can you please step back? And then his reaction was, are you going to hurt me? Are you going? He said it probably three to four times. And then I said, this, this officer is claiming that I want to harm him. And Well, this is all that. Okay. This is what the cameras do. Right. All right. That deputy is an outstanding deputy who, if you knew him, you would know he's the nicest guy around. Okay. Uh, and that's what these cameras do. It doesn't allow you to see the human side of things. We aren't machines, we're humans trying to do a job. And I was concerned for my deputy safety, just be, not, not saying that you have, uh, obviously this isn't a, 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 an obvious weapon. It's not a spear, it's not a base. Exactly. Weapon. Okay, but the reality is it can be used. It, you can jump on my, his back, my job, is just to create that safety for my guys. I don't know you. Do you if know I, me? You know my name, but do you know me? I've actually seen you on YouTube okay. before, but... <laughs> so, what I'm getting at is, I want my guys to go home safe. Sure. I want you to be safe. Sure. And if it's as simple as, sir, just go over there and keep doing your business, that was my intention. Sir, just go stand over there. You can keep on filming, but we don't like having people on our back because it's that much easier for them to jump on it and attack us. And that happens a lot in Snohomish County. But there was four of you, and the one officer to my left, before I stepped down on the platform, right. he was very cordial. The officer to my left that was on the far left, right. he had no complaints. He said nothing bad. He's just... Because he knows the cameras are rolling. He answered all my questions, right. you know, and he was really cordial, and he just, right. you know... He's already open? 
And uh, so, you know, I just felt like he, the, those two officers could have handled it differently. So the one that flanked me with the red mask, I can't remember these names because they're super long. Deputy Ravenscraft. And then uh, the one that said that, are you going to hurt me? I feel like they could handle things a lot different. And personas, everything, right? So the officer with the red mask, the way he kept watching me and looking me up and down, it tells me he has a history, a violent history of misconduct. And if I was to pull his, his record, I would probably see a lot of misconduct is what I'm guessing. So I, I wouldn't know, but okay. knowing him as well, I would find that very unlikely. Okay, well, he looks like he's been on the force for quite a long time, so... He has been around for a while. If I FOIA request his records, I'm sure something will pop up. The way he acts, and he, he did try to intimidate me, believe it or not. He walked around and in front of me and stared me down like he was, you know... And, you know, police aren't here to intimidate people. You're here to serve and protect, you know? And when when it comes down to harassing and collecting and <clears throat> trying to intimidate people, that's not what you're here for but we were doing just fine and ignoring you until things got started who started it though let's be honest you did i did you did by walking up and filming no i told you keep filming just keep your distance and that was enough for you to get things rolling that's what it was i told you i wasn't moving i'm just videotaping it's my right i'm on public property technically Well, we've already covered that. You, know, you do know there's no... Going to technic- let's not go into technicalities, because technically you could have been in violation of that RCW. I was telling you so you understand that there has to be signs posted saying that this, is, this, this walkway is only for uh, community transit. I, I would tell you to look up that RCW. It doesn't make any mention of having to have signage that, that says that... Behavior. The people don't know that. I don't know that. I understand that. So there it's, are certain, you know, there are certain laws that we don't know every little particular part of it, but we're still responsible for it. Sure. So right? my main and focus, that's why he's telling you, informing you, educating you to let you know what law you perhaps might be breaking. Now, we're not going to come out and tell you it's RCW 991025 because people go, what is that? We're telling you that if you're not on this property for transit purposes that's considered a violation of law so you so just an example you go to seattle and they have the rapid i think it's the rapid ride Mm -hmm. and there is no there's nothing like that there's no platform with a yellow marking saying that it's a it's a sidewalk and they have their little bus hut and then they won't kick you off i mean so it's different obviously we can't use seattle as a king county or seattle as a a way we have a sheriff that wants us to go out there and police the streets and make the community safe sure and enforce laws uh what i took between you and deputy Ewitz, Ewitz is him educating you because technically he could have arrested you but you're not in handcuffs you're not in jail why because it's unnecessary we want to just do our jobs and do it safely we don't want to infringe on your freedom to film us but we also don't want you to jeopardize our safety while we're trying to do our job. And I would understand that if I was some type of threat, like if I posed a threat, if I had a gun, if I had a knife. What a threat looks like. I don't know what a threat looks like. I've had children try to attack me. I've had women try to attack me. I've had old men try to attack me. And you can ask any police expert, expert that will tell you the best way to attack is to be as cooperative, and agreeable as you possibly can to get the guard down of the person you want to attack and then go go and attack. Okay, so well, I agree, I agree. But what I'm trying to say is that it's really the responsibility of the person that's in fear for their life, right? So like if I'm in fear for my life, I'll keep my eyes on you because I'm worried about my safety. And I understand you're trying to do the due diligence of watching his back but maybe there's a little bit of over, overreaction. Maybe just a little bit, you know. Maybe it's on, on your part. No, on your part. No, because on your part. I was doing the the officer safety is just that my response. What if my partner? I I can tell you he didn't realize that you were back there until I said something. He knew I was there. He, was he knew I was there. If you if you watch the video, well, I'm not going to get in his head. Sure. But what I'm telling you is 
the job of everyone out there in law enforcement, because when we're wearing this uniform, we're particularly vulnerable because we are that sign of the government. So that's when we're vulnerable and we are going to watch one another's back. That's we're fine. We're going to make sure that, that, again, as I said at the end, that everyone gets home safely. So I don't believe it was an overreaction because if I can get most people, when I tell them, can you just step back? They do what I ask and they step back. Sure. But for this, I get it. All right. This isn't the first time I've been in front of cameras for, for, First Amendment auditors. Right. I don't want to infringe on your rights, but again, as long as it's not putting safety in jeopardy. And I did move after you you told me right. to move to the utilities. Right. But I then moved. Again, that's when it was the back and forth. Okay, we're just trying to get our job done. So let's go on to the original. As I said, if you feel that that you have a complaint, I can get you writing a statement. I think I've told you my side of things. I personally don't think any of my deputies did anything wrong and that, that's fine numbers. that's how it normally goes the, right. the sergeant normally tries to cover for the deputies well, I'm, not covering anything. I'm explaining i'm explaining it right now right and knowing that i'm being filmed i'm explaining it right now right but that's one point of view and there's exactly. many other points of views so you hit it on the nose didn't you right so i don't plan on changing <laughs> your point of view as 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 it seems like you're trying to change mine. No. Nope. Again, I will go by my policies, my procedures, and I already know how the system people. works, and I already know what to expect. So I already know that it's it's a one sided deal, and even I fill out their support, it's going to go nowhere, probably to the shredder. But I'm still going to do my due diligence and file this report because this All is right. in the long run. This is going well, to well, let's get on with that. So again, what I ask, am I one of those? It's so at this time, I'm just like I said, I, I'm I'm only concerned about you triggering his reaction. So other than that, no. Okay. So go ahead and fill this information out. Really up here, I just need your name and contact information, and just write uh, your account of what happened out there. What your the nature okay. of your complaint sure. was. Oh, you got entry. Oh. All right. Hey, what's up, boss? Yes, I'm going to write it up right up your complaint. It's going to go to my lieutenant who will decide whether my involvement in it is to the point where I shouldn't be the one investigating it. Sure. In which case, it would be assigned to someone else. Okay. Uh, either way, you will be notified. Sounds good. All right. Do you have any questions for me? The pen's yours. Uh, can I throw it away or? Yeah. Okay. Right sure. All right. Well, thanks for the taking the complaint. Appreciate it. All right. Hopefully, uh, you know, those officers can get a little bit better training on, you know, the way they handle the public, you know. So right. I just want to say not everyone in the public is a threat, you know, so. Um, try to view the people you know, a little bit differently, you know. Very good. So, good you too. Hello. Hey, how are you, sir? Good, how are you doing? Good. Just videotaping. How's it going? Man, it's been busy. Is it? Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. I didn't know you guys had a precinct over here. Yeah. I know you guys are from Everett, Snohomish County, in the courthouse, so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We've got a precinct over here. It just helps us to be able to have. Is it pretty new or? You know, I'm not 100% sure. Okay. I think we've been here for a while, but I'm a newer guy, so I'm not 100% sure. Are you from this area or? No, I, uh, my wife and I met in. Washington. Oh, okay. I always wanted to get back here. So. Nice. Yeah. You got a name and badge number? Yeah, my, my name's Deputy Schrader. My badge number is 1712. Cool. All right, man. Have a good one. Hey, you too, brother. Yep. Be safe. You too.